Welcome back and a happy new year. This is going to be my daily forecast for the first year of 2021 for Monday, January 4th, 2021. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, the Great British Pound rallied quite significantly at the end of last year. So we are up to 1365 um, at the point at this point, and we haven't been trading this high for a very, very, very long time. All the way back in 2018, we have been at this price level for this currency pair. So there are two things that are, are that are going on here. First of all, it is basically the end of Brexit. We'll hopefully never ever hear that term ever again because now the British uh, the UK has left officially left the European Union and there will be no more negotiations. So there was a resolution to the negotiation. Of course, that is very bullish for, for the Great British Pound. And then you have the US dollar depreciating significantly. And of course, that will have a massive effect on this currency pair. At this point, we are trading at the two years high and it is very likely that we are just going to continue with this uptrend. At this point, we could expect us to see this currency pair pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average as we have seen several times in the past. And if that is the case, it is basically just a buying opportunity. It is very unlikely that we'll see this completely collapse in the near future. I won't say that we won't see sim uh, moves similar to this, but but it is expected for this currency pair to continue appreciation appreciating. So at this point, if you look at technical indicators, MACD is very bullish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and we are basically at the top of the bullish band. And this is the reason why I say we may expect a pullback towards the 20 moving average, roughly at 13.48, and then we may continue going higher from there. We are a little bit overstretched here in the bullish band. Usually when it hits the top, it tends to either go sideways a little bit or just go back towards the middle of the bullish band. So pullbacks are buying opportunity in this case. So let's look at the US dollar yen. Uh, we are basically in the middle of nowhere right at the moment. This has been one of the most reliable trades uh, in 2020 because we have been trading within this channel for most of the year. All the way back in uh, March 2020, we have been within this channel. Every single time we go to the top, we can basically sell. Every time we go to the bottom, we can basically buy it. And then we have these moving averages, which also have acted as major resistance in most cases. So the first, we tested the 40 exponential moving average, uh, broke down, and at this point, we may see a continuation where we go back towards the 50 and then go further down. If we go to the all-time high, if we go to the highs here at the, roughly at the 100 moving average or this trend line, then it's a major selling opportunity, while hitting the bottom here is a buying opportunity. If you look at technical indicators for this currency pair, we can see that we are about to basically turn around. Uh, the MACD is still bearish. We're still in a, with a downtrend. We're under zero. It's also underneath the signal line, so that is not a good sign. So it's fairly, bear, uh, fairly bearish at this point. The RSI is bullish. The CCI is turning bullish. The stochastic is basically turning around. It's, become, it's going to turn bullish as well. And here at the Bollinger Band, we basically hit the bottom, and now we're back going back towards the middle. So, so for example, the MACD is is fairly bullish, uh, bearish at this point, while the other indicators are basically turning bear, uh, bearish or are basically turning around. And therefore, it is expected for this to slowly turn around towards the upside. The 50 moving average should offer a lot of resistance. So let's look at the euro. Euro, US dollar. So this is a very interesting trade. This is most likely what I'm going to focus on when the market opens again, because we had a major breakdown in the, last, the second day of the 
of, uh, of the year. And at this point, we're trading at 1221. So the 20 exponential has been very supported for a very long time. We are basically at the 20 exponential, and therefore this is a this is a really good trade to make at the moment. If we maintain uh, turn around here, and it's basically a stop loss underneath the 20 and the target of these highs, or even much higher, because it is expected for this currency pair to go significantly higher. Question is whether or not to enter yet, because these technical indicators are still very bearish, all of them, uh, except for this. So. If you look at the MACD, it's crossing the signal line. It's still above zero, so we're still in an uptrend, but it is crossing the signal line. Um, it's uh, underneath, and therefore it's still in the bearish momentum. RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is also bearish. So we may see one or more, one or two more trading days where we basically hover around here in the middle, just at this point here. So we saw this a similar move here, and then we basically took off. So when these technical indicators tend to turn around, for example, here in the stochastic, when we turn around here, it is basically an indication to buy. It is still possible to enter now, but you probably wait a few days before something uh, happens. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we're basically right um, above the 20 moving average. We broke the top here. Uh, broke down and then we are testing the middle of the Bollinger Band. If this breaks, then we're probably heading towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band. I would be surprised if that happened. It hasn't happened for a really long time. All the way back here, this is back in in uh, November when we basically broke the, the, the bottom of, the, of the, uh, the Bollinger Band. So this is definitely a buying opportunity. So Aussie, US dollar, so this is uh, fairly overextended. The Aussie US dollar had a fantastic last run in a, basically in a year. So we bought them here in, in, this was back in March, in 19th of March, and then we rallied all the way up here. So roughly a 40%, 39% rally in these, uh, in, these uh, in the end of, of, uh, of 2020, from March to the end of 2020. That is a, really good move so we may see this continue because the us dollar is expected to uh, depreciate even further it is fairly overstretched at this moment so we may see it appreciate and then start depreciating again and the rc us dollar is also on the edge of being overbought so a pullback towards the 20 exponential that is very very likely at this stage you can also see what happened here in the Bollinger Band, we were way outside of the Bollinger Band. And a pullback towards the middle here, that is very, very likely. So this is a trade of roughly 1.4%. So people that are uh, want to short this, it is possible, it's very risky. I would definitely not do it, but I would rather wait until we pull back towards the middle, uh, to the uh, 20 exponential moving average, and then start buying it because we are in uptrend and there's no reason to basically work against the, the trend or trade against the trend. So other technical indicators, they are technically all bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, the uh, RSI is basically flat, the CCI is bullish and the stochastic is still bullish, but it is it's showing signs of weakness. It may cross the signal line on Monday or on Tuesday. And that would coincide with a fall towards the 20 moving average, roughly at 0 0.76. Um, yes, around that area. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So we rallied here, broke down towards these previous lows, and now we're starting to rally again. It is fairly likely that we are going to see this currency pair going higher up towards the 20, 40, or 50 exponential moving average, and then break down again. If we break these previous lows here, then we are going significantly lower. If we look at technical indicators, we're still under zero. We're still in a downtrend, as you can see. So we're crossing the signal line. That is indication even more bearishness. The RSI is, is flat at this point. The CCI is, uh, is still bearish, and the stochastic is also bearish at this point. But these indicators are showing 
signs of life about it basically just turning around. So I wouldn't be surprised if we went towards the 20 exponential or even the 30 uh, exponential moving average and then broke back down towards these lows. You can see that we touched the bottom of the bullish band and then we're basically heading back towards the top. So the higher this goes, the better the selling opportunity. Now definitely no interest of basically buying this, just every rally is basically a selling opportunity. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to join us in the uh, support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner and hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.